Someone once told me that happiness is like a butterfly, which when pursued is always beyond our grasp, but if you sit down quietly it may alight upon you. And I believe it was written by Nathaniel Hawthorne, he was an American writer in the 1800s. It just informs us that, well yes, the world has seen better days, but does that mean it has to stop us from admiring what artistry the planet has to offer? Regardless of what artistry is defined as, in our own perspective, most of us have tendencies to dwell on such artistry that's deceived and grown cold over time. Think about it. We all have a part to play in our own screens, yet we choose to attract such solitude. But the thing is, people are yet to experience what assets the universe decides to put in place. How many people do you think come home every day knowing that their family's relationship's dying? How many people come home knowing that their relationships are emotionally annihilated? How many people do you think come home to nobody? Better that, but people don't even have a home to go to. But the universe puts it clearly that humans are selfish. No matter how privileged we may be, we all have our inner battles. Some tackled easier than others, but we as everything on earth are put here for a purpose. So why not enjoy it? There's a perfect balance between favourableness and indifference in every single one of us, but we struggle to enable it. Do things that make us happy. I do things that make me happy, and the list is endless. I smile. Be wild. I respect. I manifest. I observe. I dance. I enjoy the beauty in the world. I like to think life's journey or pathways is like a piano, and we follow the scale, we interact with the white keys, showing the merriment of life's treasures, but we struggle to elude the black keys. And although they may not be pleasant, <laughs> black keys still make music, the symphony of life. And although life is one long piece of melodic hymn, we must understand that everything in our lives is here for reasons that are unexplainable. Why should you be happy? Well, I'll tell you. In fact, I could name at least ten reasons why you should be happy. Firstly, you are a living, breathing human, and life is the biggest offering to be blessed with. Secondly, you are one out of 7.6 billion people on this planet as we speak. Thirdly, you are loved, probably a lot more than you realise. <laughs> Furthermore, you have a gift and such skills that spread love to hearts across seas. A fifth point, as a collective, we are lucky. We have access to food, drink, and that could quench any such satisfaction. Another reason you are watching this video, meaning you have the internet access, which for anyone is a reason to feel privileged. Reason 7, you have hopes, you have dreams that are yet to be experienced, like starting families, having your dream job, travelling the world, ruling the world. And brings me on to the next point, you should be happy because you've accomplished experiences that nobody could ever experience. Meeting significant others, your first kiss even. 9. There is at least something that you can do better than anyone else, and it's what you like doing. Lastly, you matter. You should be happy because you matter. There is someone in your life and you believed in them when nobody else did. You profoundly impacted someone's life, maybe even saved them, knowingly or not. You matter. And happiness is so achievable. It's omnipresent. Our minds are the key to the divine, the cosmos. We humans have the ability to acquire anything our lives desire. We just are blinded by our potential. So remember, in whatever situation you may be in, enjoy the blessings of the world's power. Because it's everywhere.